where's the air conditioner on this thing? And we don't have one. We don't have one. And we're totally okay with it. I'm totally okay with it most of the time. Are you totally okay with it? Tiny questions. Tiny questions. The reason why we don't have an air conditioner is, um, well, many reasons. We travel around and teach about sustainable living and how that relates to wildlife. And the biggest energy consumers in an average household are the air conditioning and the refrigerator. So when we came to the decision of uh, getting rid of our mini split unit that the house came with, so thanks to 84 Lumber, they put one on here. It was a Mitsubishi unit. It had heating and cooling, but it needed 50 amp electric to run it. It was a huge energy hog, so we asked them to take it off. And Which I know, I know right now you're going, what? These are idiots. Yes, we are. Today, I'm so sticky. <laughs> so sticky. I think it's clocking in at like 110 degrees today with super high humidity. It rained last night so the humidity is through the roof but we're okay in here. It's insulated. We got the fans rolling so if you hear a little hum in the background those are the fans. So we've lived in this house for 10 months now and we've been in freezing temperatures. The coldest night we've had is about 10 degrees. We have a little space heater. It does just fine. Heats up the house really well. Heating's not a problem. But then when it gets up into 90, 95. With no air, uh -huh. where we can't utilize our amazing windows that provide us cross breeze, mm -hmm. when the air is just Stay. Then so, we get two fans, and they're energy efficient, and they're made, they're made out of recycled plastic, I believe. Yeah, we have great fans. So we feel good about it, but when it's like that kind of hot, and our, we're up in a loft, and the fans just blow the bleh onto us. So we haven't been sleeping. And that's my problem is I'm just not sleeping as well as I could be, which then of course has caused ripple effects of us being maybe a little bit grumpier. And obviously as a couple, we don't really touch each other. We're not very affectionate. I'm like, I love you. <laughs> yeah, we don't love. cuddle. You know, um, so that's kind of a problem, but can we handle it? Yes. We're the only animals on the planet that have AC. I think we can do without it. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the 10 months we've lived in here, there's only just been a handful of nights yeah. that have just been unbearable. Awful. You know, this is why we don't have an AC. We've been trying to watch our carbon footprint and to see what we can get away with, you know, in America, in Western civili civilization. You know, we just run these things without even thinking of the consequences. And that's the biggest point that we want to make not only to everybody else but to ourselves is just yeah. to realize what we can live with and get away with and yeah. something that we've noticed a lot of is a lot of people have come into our home that are older and they're like what are people complaining about we're so spoiled yeah, you know, we didn't have air conditioning when we were younger and we lived and human beings didn't have air conditioning at all let alone electricity mm -hmm. for thousands of years so i guess tim and i are going yes it's hot Yes, we want to have a smaller footprint and all mm -hmm. that, but I think we can at least challenge ourselves the best that we can because people did do it for thousands of mm -hmm. years and your body can adjust. I guess my request of what people can do, you don't have to get rid of your AC, but some of the tips that we like to give people are maybe, first of all, beware of the, the brand, the exact model that you have. Is it an energy efficient model? Mm -hmm. Which there's not very many out there in terms of AC, mm -hmm. um, but check into that. Number two, make sure that your windows and the cracks in your home aren't leaking out that air, mm -hmm. which obviously is a waste of energy and also is a waste of dollars. Dollar mm -hmm. signs are just creeping out of mm -hmm. your windows. Third one would be uh, turning it off during the daytime or putting it up much higher. Your house will cool very quickly, especially if you shut doors. If you know in the evening you're gonna spend time in the living room so that you're nice and cozy while you're watching <clears throat> I'm assuming Game of Thrones. Um, you know, so, winter has came. I don't know if you know that or not. come. So you, apparently you need to feel that in your own home, <laughs> that winter came, even though it's yeah. summertime. Those are just some options for you. Once again, you don't have to be going to the extreme like Tim and I are, but there mm -hmm. are things that you can do to live sustainably, whether you live in 200 square feet or 3,000 square feet. I think that's about it. If you have any other questions, ideas, comments, thoughts, please let us know in the comment section below. Yeah. Or if you have a question just about tiny living and how we're trying to live more sustainably, let us know. Yep. See you later, guys. Guys. Boys. <laughs> boy, boy. Boy. <laughs> Take away. Sorry, the heat's getting to me. Okay. 
Here we go. Check, check. Check. We're all checked out. You pretty? Feeling sweaty. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys. Um, 